The definition of Commodore is a naval officer of high rank. And for me, being a Commodore stems from that definition because um, here at Tate's Creek, we are encouraged to be leaders in everything that we do. Uh, we truly are held to the high standard of um, personal integrity and responsibility, um, which is all for the noble purpose of serving our community, which I think is really special. We rise to the top. We're trying to beat other high schools like Dunbar, Frederick Douglass, Lafayette, Bryan Station. That's what Commodore is all about. I think it's special being a Commodore because the community that you build within the school is much different than any other school. I feel like as a whole school, we're very connected together in the community. We get to learn about all these different cultures and groups and we all work together as one and there's a huge pride you carry as being a Commodore as just a student, especially in extracurriculars like any sports you play, there's a huge pride in being a Commodore because we're known as one of the top schools. So it's always nice to know that you have that pride playing for and being a Commodore. In my experience, I like to see how everybody's being happy and I'll always smiles out. I like being here because this high school reminds me I see how of the grades I went through since middle and elementary. We had like this fundraising event and that's just kind of like it goes in line with the spirit of like what it means to be a student at Tate's Creek, what it means to be an IB student. Um, we had a group of students um, try to fundraise for our program here and so they just decided to put on a ping pong tournament and we just all went out and had so much fun um, and so that was something that will stick with me. So yeah, they call me the ping pong master now. <laughs> My baseball coach Jeff Chaperone, he's taught me that just not in baseball you need to be hardworking and determined because if you're going to do something you're going to do it 110 percent if you're not going to do it 110 percent there's no point to do it so he taught me in school work and whatever I'm doing in my life that I need to do it 110 percent and be the best person that I possibly can be in any given situation that I'm put into what I enjoyed most about being at Tate Streak is definitely the extracurriculars and the sporting events that you get to go to I play baseball so there's people out there supporting every day cheering on rooting for us and Football games, basketball games, we're all there cheering together, just cheering on the people at our school that we love and care about. So we're all one big community and I love going to the games and just getting to hang out with all our friends and get to know more about each other. Teachers, that's one. Field trips are two. Dancing's three. I like to see how the how the cognitive teams of basketball and football are playing out. I've really enjoyed the diversity. I think we have something like over several dozen languages that are spoken here alone, which is amazing. Um, and it really enhances the educational experience because I feel like it you can definitely see it nurturing, understanding, and um, love among the students. And it's just really special, the sense of community we have here. Like, there is nothing more profound than um, being in a class and then listening directly to what an immigrant has to say about their experiences than just, like, relying on a textbook. I think I'm going to miss those relationships I've built with people that where I'm going farther away for college, I'm going to lose maybe lose some of these bonds, especially with teachers, students, administration, everybody. I feel like I've grown a huge bond to the people in this community. And when I move away, I feel like I might lose some of those connections, which is hard to deal with, I should say. It's the teachers, all of them, including Miss Majors and Mr. Mills, because they're going to miss me. I know doing, doing office work and other stuff, that's what I'm going to miss about them. So I'm really going to miss um, having such a strong connection to my teachers who know me really well um, and also the students. I have like inside jokes with everyone in my class. So I'm really going to miss being part of such a close-knit community. And also um, on that note, uh, Dr. Mills, every single day he makes an announcement where he's like, we love you Creek. So that's something I'm really going to, I cherish and I really will miss. To get the most of your experience, I believe as a student, you need to do what's right in the classroom first of all. Once you achieve in the classroom, then you can go on to all the extracurricular activities and I think that really helps build a liking for Tate's Week High School when you're doing the right thing in the classroom because it allows you to do all the other fun stuff. Staying on top is one because some people want to get through high school. We want everybody to get through 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 all the grades so then they can go anywhere and if they have a career choice they want to go to. We have a wealth of resources and such incredibly talented uh, teachers and staff who are all willing to help you just like that, just the moment you ask. Um, and then make sure you challenge yourself academically, physically, socially. We have a variety of academic programs and we have a variety of um, clubs and athletics and there's a place for everyone. I hope the future sets bright for everyone. My name is Xavier Jones-Cooper. I'm a graduate of Tate High School.
I am Mariam Yunus. I'm a graduate of Tates Creek High School. I'm Isaac Tenza and I'm a graduate of Tates Creek High School.